Okay, I'm going to try to show you how to tie a pretzel knot. First, make a loop with the cords in your right hand and place it over the cords in your left hand and hold it there with your thumb. Hold the uh, loose ends from your right side with your other fingers. You're going to take the cords from your left hand and go over the loose ends on the right and then up through the top. Like so. Then you're going to go over this part of the loop under the cords on the left side and over this part here of the loop. So by doing that I just pull the cords from the left side up and pull it all through. Now what you get here looks kind of like a mess. So what we do is try to get the red back on the inside and there we go. Now it looks more like a pretzel knot. So now we just tighten it. Then you slide it up to get it in the right position. And there we go. There's one pretzel knot. Okay, when you tie consecutive pretzel knots, you want to start from the opposite side. So this one we started with the right side. This next one we're going to start with the left side. And what we want to do is make another loop. And this is with the uh, left hand cords, like so. And then take the cords from the right side, go over the left side, the loose ends, and come in through the top. And then the cords on the right side, and we push, push that through, take the cords, and go through that part. And again, we have something that looks like a mess. So let me uh, tighten that up a little bit. Get the red back on the inside. Oop, pulled that one a little bit too tight. Just get that back on the inside. If you're very mindful of how you start out tying it all, if you always keep the uh, inside cord on the inside, it'll make this process a lot easier for you. And there we go. And if you want to continue making a piece of jewelry, you just take the inside cords, and tie a square knot. So there you go. Kind of makes a nice piece of jewelry. I left large gaps here just for the reason for so you can see the knots. Um, most of the time you might want to keep these close up because with any kind of tension it tends to stretch and it pulls your knot so goofy. So normally when you tie these you do want to have each pretzel knot as close to the other as possible. And that's all.